Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about this video. It's gonna create a lot of mess in my apartment, but who cares? Today, for the first time ever, I am sharing with you my entire Louis Vuitton collection. And Louis Vuitton is by far my most favorite designer brand. And why? Because it was... It was the first brand of everything for me. First bag, Louis Vuitton. First designer accessory, Louis Vuitton. First designer SLG, Louis Vuitton. First designer ready-to-wear piece, Louis Vuitton. Shoes, Louis Vuitton. Everything, Louis Vuitton. And that's why I really love this brand. I have parted ways with a lot of items from my collection, but today I'm gonna share with you everything that I currently own. And it's quite a bit of things, so I'll try to go as fast as I can. But before I get into the video. If you're new here, my name is Aika. I post a lot of fashion related videos, shopping vlogs, reviews and unboxings. So if you're interested in any of these topics, then please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the red button down below and also turn on the bell to be notified every time I post something new. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I post there daily all of my outfits, my eye candies, my personal life, everything goes there. So check it out as well. Send me a DM, a little hello. I would love to hear from you guys. Let's start with probably SLGs because they're smaller and easier. I store a lot of them inside the boxes. And let's start with my least favorite probably of all times because I just never use it. It's the Louis Vuitton Agenda PM. I'm selling this right now. If you're interested, just send me a message, an email, DM, whatever you want. And I haven't really used it much because I have a big handwriting and this thing is just way too small for me. So it's just sitting in its box waiting for the new owner to pick it up. So that's number one. Let's move on to the next item in this box. I actually have two items here. So the, here's the first one. And this, I'm not sure if I've ever shared this before, but I have this cute little card holder from LV with red and the regular monogram, and it's also red inside, and it's so cute. It has two slots, but the only problem is the hardware on this thing. It's, as you can see, it's really bad. It's really, really bad looking. It's, I don't know what's going on, but this gold plated um, V, just doesn't look gold anymore that's why i've stopped using this card holder but it was a gift from my back then boyfriend now husband and i've had this for so many years now i think it's been what five years not even sure but i'll try to get it fixed because right now looking at it it's so pretty and i haven't seen this thing in quite a long time so i'll just try to fix it and then reuse it again and number two in this box is dun, 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 dun my little scarf it is so pretty with pink and it has all of this uh, bags on it bois chapeau the key pole the truck what else like so many different bags speedy and it is so pretty it is also pink on the inside and i love this combination of gray and pink i think it's the prettiest i've used it on my pochette metis before now for some reason i just took it off and it just sits here in its dust bag let's move on to the next item and it's in this box and it's my very first SLG from LV. It's this um, card holder at the back. Then it has the zipper and you can put your keys inside or some coins. It has this uh, key chain thingy and it's in red vernis. It is so beautiful. And I think this ones are discontinued, but they have newer releases of similar looking um, small card holders. So if you love this style, you can still find it on LV something super similar but I was just obsessed with this thing I used it so much and oh, my favorite next we have my wallet which I don't really use anymore because it's pretty big and bulky but I still love having it in my collection because this is where I store my cash usually or some additional cards that I might need or whenever I travel I just bring this thing with me because it fits a bunch of things next we've got my Louis Vuitton, ooh, the color is really like blowing up on the camera. But this is the Kirigami Pochette from Escal Collection. There are three of them. I mentioned them so many times here on my channel. This was 
a little spontaneous purchase something unexpected i wasn't even planning on buying anything that day but when i saw that they had this from the sky collection i fell in love because the colors are just so beautiful this thing is okay sort of useless i mean it is pretty cool the concept and everything but this shape of an envelope isn't very user-friendly i would say because if you try to put something up until here and it's very easy to do i mean even this mini pochette is already out here things will just keep falling off your pouch once you open it that's why not a huge fan but i still love it i still love that it's from escal and it's by far one of my most favorite collections i think it is so dreamy it is so cute and girly and bubbly yes i love it next i have my small mini pochette small mini pochette yes mini pochette uh in the monogram again pretty much all of my accessories are in the monogram that's so boring but anyway i store all of my pills inside i think i mentioned that in the video about my slg collection so i really love this thing i think it's very handy especially whenever we travel it's just so small and easy to put inside any bag or even a luggage so i really love it the next slg in my collection is this bad boy it's my louis vuitton agenda gm in the monogram i've always been obsessed with this thing it took me quite a while to pull the trigger and go for it but i thought it was time i use it every single day yes it was an expensive purchase sort of unnecessary I mean it is a necessity you need to have an agenda well I do but at the same time it didn't have to be Louis Vuitton I just wanted it to be Louis Vuitton to be honest but I use it every single day every single day even on Saturdays and Sundays because I upload videos on Sundays so of course I use it every single day to plan my content, to write things I have to do during the day, uh, to plan my week. This is where I keep it all, all of my video ideas, everything is in this agenda and I really love it. If you're thinking of getting one, I think you should. It's such an amazing thing and it's just so beautiful. I have all the inserts as well. Let me show them to you. That's so cute. And the very last SLG piece from Louis Vuitton that I have in my collection is my Ninis. Ninis? Ninis BB? Oh my god, what is going on? Uh, it's also in the classic monogram. I love this thing, but I will admit it, I don't really use it. I store a lot of things inside. I store a lot of makeup products here, such as my foundation i have some lipsticks my serums my hand cream i have a lot of things inside this thing is like filled uh, with my stuff and i use an organizer because i just think you need an organizer for something like this otherwise it's just a dump and i really like it i don't use it because of vachetta and a lot of people just tell me get over it whatever it's vachetta so what it's gonna age beautifully and yes i agree with that but at the same time Mm, I just can't. I mean, I have things inside, so I sort of do use it. <laughs> I have to open it every once in a while to get like a lipstick or a foundation. So I really like it. I'm glad I have it in my collection. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say about this piece. Now let's move on to the shoes. And honestly, I feel like I'm missing a pair, maybe two. I just couldn't find them. And I'm missing loafers for sure. And I'm not sure if there is anything else I'm missing. But for now... This is what I have. And the first pair of shoes is this Archlight sneakers. I was obsessed with them and they were so hard to find. I mean, this was the last pair in Geneva store and I got them back in August of 2019. Yes, that's right, 2019. It was pretty difficult to find them. I was so happy. I managed to get them in this beautiful color combination. Uh, they are in white color with blue and then pink at the back and they have this little thingy in the monogram. Right now, I don't use them as much anymore for some reason, not sure why, but I'm pretty sure uh, whenever spring comes, I'll just start rocking these babies. Once again, super cool, very comfy. I just love them. The next pair of shoes are this sneakers. I honestly forgot the name of them. Time Out. I believe they're called Time Out. And I bought them in Barcelona uh, this 
last summer and they are so cool i love them so so much especially the colors again white with a little bit of pink orange and gold i think they look so sleek so cool they're very comfy they go with so many things so many outfits pretty much everything and i love a little bit of bright orange almost neon orange it's just so beautiful um, they're not on sale anymore. They have newer styles from newer collections. The last time I saw the sneakers was uh, when they released the Crafty collection. They also have a winter version of this with fur inside. And I'm pretty sure they will come out with newer styles for this spring summer collection. So I would highly, highly recommend them. And the very last pair of shoes in my collection are these Stella sneakers. They're so gross and disgusting, to be honest. I wore them to death. I still wear them so much. They're the comfiest shoes ever. During winter time, I just wear them non stop because they're so warm and comfy and they're so understated and they go with everything they're in black leather they have this little um, monogram trim around it but it doesn't even say LV so you can't really tell I think I might get a new pair next year because these ones are just dead they're finished <laughs> now let's move on to some accessories that I have not a lot but still um, I've got this scarf I have no idea what the name of it, but um, I will put it down. And it's in red color. It is stunning. I was so obsessed with it when I first bought it. And I got it when this scarves were just released they were 300 i believe back then now they're a little bit more pricey this scarf is super warm and i also love the color of it that it's red and bright and you know a lot of people say that red is difficult to style i can't really agree with that because i could style this scarf with pretty much everything and next i have this set is these gloves they're so cute in this I don't even know the name of this color. It's like pinky peach color. And also this scarf. It has this monogram in different colors and patterns. It is so beautiful. This scarf is the warmest scarf ever. It is so soft. It just feels really, really warm whenever I wear it. This was a gift from my husband. And the only problem with this set is that I find it a little bit tricky to style. I honestly don't know how to style this set. It looks sort of childish. I know it's a lot of fun and everything, but this color this particular pink color is i don't know i just don't have anything in this color but it's still so beautiful and whenever i wear it i just feel so happy and it brings me a lot of joy to be honest but the color is yeah the most tricky part of it the next random thing in my collection are my dun 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 silk slippers this was again a gift from my husband he gives me this crazy things that i myself wouldn't normally purchase and he knows it and that's why he goes for them because there is something different and unique i really love the look of the slippers they're super comfy really really soft inside Mm, but I don't wear them, I will admit it and it actually upsets my husband so much but I just feel bad wearing them at home, you know because they're so pretty and I know when I'm at home I just cook all the time I'm just very, I'm very messy, I would say and whenever I cook something everything just peels and falls and I don't want to damage them and we also have a cat and he shuts a lot and I just don't want my cat's fur all around my slippers. It's so gross, but they're still so, so cute. Now I'm gonna show you another ridiculous gift from my husband and it's my Horizon. Not sure about the size. Is it a 50? Here is my suitcase. It is so gigantic. It doesn't even fit in the frame, but here it is. In all its glory, I love it so much. It is my precious little suitcase, hand luggage. But I am really scared to travel with it because traveling is messy. It's going through security checks. It's going through dirty airports and it's just messy. It's dirty. I'm scared I'm gonna damage it. I'm scared of damaging Vachette around it. And I truly think I should avoid everything that has Vachette on it. 
because I'm just scared of it. I am so scared of it. But I've been thinking recently and I've decided that once we're allowed to travel, once we start traveling again, I will start using it. And if something happens to Vachette, I can always paint it to black. I can always make it black and nobody will see anything, any dirt, any stains, nothing. So that's my plan. For now, I'll just use it as is and once it gets like really damaged and really ugly looking, I'll just paint it black. What do you think? Am I crazy? But this thing is gorgeous. It's amazing. I love it. I can't wait to start traveling. I'm super excited. Now let's move on to some ready to wear pieces. I only have two and you all know what they are. Number one is my beloved skirt. Oh my God, this skirt is gorgeous. I love it so much and I wore it so much already. When I was back at home, I wore it pretty much every day because I really wanted to enjoy it. But right now I don't really wear it anymore because we're in lockdown. There is nowhere to go nowhere to wear this skirt so sometimes i just wear it at home and enjoy it at home but yeah most of the times unfortunately it just sits in my closet but i still love it and i thought it would be a little bit too tricky to style it because of red but i actually have two maybe three red bags and i have a lot of black outfits and now i have a black coat so it's pretty easy to style this skirt and um yeah, I actually don't mind that it's red. I think it's pretty cool. It's unique, it's something different and I don't see this style that much to be honest. And my second ready to wear piece is, oh my God, so heavy. It's right here and it's my favorite coat. Oh, it is so beautiful. I really love this coat so much. It also has a belt over here. I think I mentioned it in quite a few of my videos. It's probably one of my most favorite ready-to-wear piece in my entire closet. It is just so special to me and I've always wanted a coat from LV because they just make the most beautiful coats ever and I really want to add another one, the one that has a hood at the back but this one in my opinion is just such a classic piece. And now we only have a few pieces left and they are handbags. So let's start with this one. This is my Neverfull MM in giant monogram in this beautiful print. It has this light monogram against khaki color and at the back it has this beige color. It is so beautiful. This whole trim together with the handles are in the mini monogram in black and white. This piece is so unique. It's so different from what you usually see and that's why I love it so much and that's why I gravitated towards it and wanted it and needed it. And it also comes with this pouch that's also so in this mini monogram in black and white, this is something you don't really see from Louis Vuitton. It transforms into a completely different bag facing this way, right? So it's very versatile. Next, we've got my Louis Vuitton Pochette Métis. I've had it for about four years now. I spoke about it in my previous video. I mentioned that I'm thinking of parting ways with it. I'm thinking of getting a Dauphine bag as a replacement to this bag so I can sell this one because I'm just a little bit tired of the style. I see it on everyone and there is nothing wrong with that. If a lot of people love this piece, good for them. But for me personally, I'm just a little bit tired of it. Having it in my collection and seeing it on other people is completely different from not having it in your collection but seeing it. You know, whenever you see something a lot, you want it more, but once you get it, it's like, okay, cool, I've had fun with it. Let's move to the next one. Uh, so this is how I feel about this bag. It's sad because I love it and maybe I won't even sell it, but just get the Dauphine bag, who knows. Um, but that's the plan for now. Next bag we have is this Clary bag, I think that's how you call it. And it's an epi leather, um, blue and white color with black hardware and yellow stitching. It is so cool and so pretty. 
I love using it in summer whenever I wear denim or white pieces or blue pieces it just looks so cool I love this electric blue color in general then it has a long shoulder strap which is removable and you can just carry this bag like this and although it's pretty small it still fits quite a lot of things inside so yeah I really like it the next bag in my collection is the Bois Chapeau again in giant monogram I'm obsessed with giant monogram and in reverse monogram as well so can you see yeah I really love this bag I bought it together with my coat this bag is just stunning I love the shape of it that it's round it's something different I don't have anything like this in my collection I love this little tag you can put your name inside if you want to but it's just so funny uh, then what else it has this strap which is adjustable you can make it longer you can make it shorter depending on how you want to wear it and it also comes with the lock and the keys where is the lock here is the lock and the keys are inside. Really love this bag. Again, a lot of a shed. That's why I don't really use it as much as I wish I did, but I still wear it quite a lot when it's sunny outside, when it's not raining, because I love this bag so much. And the last Louis Vuitton handbag in my collection is this mini cutie the palm springs mini i spoke about it in my previous video as well saying that i'm sick of it and i really am but at the same time i just love it so much because it's so cute and i felt so bad saying it that i've been using this bag ever since i filmed that video <laughs> I also love that it's super casual and I needed something casual and something spacious and yes this little guy just just does that and again I don't wear it as a backpack I wear it as a crossbody bag um, that's how I prefer using it because I think it's just too tiny for me to wear as a backpack I might be taking my words back on this backpack that I'm sick of it I am but I love how functional it is it is almost irreplaceable because it's just so small and it's so durable and it fits so much it doesn't have any vachette on it it has this black leather which is so durable and no matter what no matter the circumstances it will survive it's a survivor and it looks like new although i wore it so much so this is my entire louis vuitton collection what is your favorite piece let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye